you doing today welcome once again to another episode of monday motivation i'm your host avanti and i'm really excited about today's topic because i'm interviewing an amazing amazing guest but before i proceed of course you know i'm gonna ask you have you subscribed to this channel if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please go ahead and do so this channel is all about educating informing inspiring motivating people and the more you subscribe the more you help this channel to pop up more on youtube search engines you know and it just makes us have like better um numbers on the algorithm and you know when you search for us you find us easily so that's why you should subscribe and plus that's your own way of supporting this work so please help us sister out and subscribe god bless you now i want to go ahead and introduce my guest today i have an amazing amazing man who's been doing some great great work i'd love to tell you all about it but why tell you when you can talk to him yourself and he can tell you everything that you need to know so let me welcome to the show mr yinka adegoke it's so good to have you on the show mr yinka it's been like what how many years i saw you last i believe it's maybe five years four yeah years. it's been about four or five years yeah, four because years. you know then your your twin girls are like babies yeah, but now, like now they're five so they're five so, so yeah. it's about four years yeah four years wow five years, yeah. i don't want to tell the people much about you but i know they'll be wondering who is this one again <laughs> that avanti has brought i promise you this show is gonna bless you. So, Mr. Yinka, do you want to introduce yourself to the people and let them get to meet you? My, my name is Yinka, and mm -hmm. um, I mean, what do you want to know? I'm the CEO of Melanin People. He's the CEO um, of Melanin People. Yes, and Melanin People is a is a social media platform for black and brown people of color that's focused mm -hmm. on our black economics. Mm -hmm. um, so, our platform is. What makes us different is we're focused on black economics. Black economics, um, yeah. yeah. And we're focused on in, on black economics in such a way that we um, we encourage the community and you know to um, support one another more Correct. intentionally. Correct. You know, um, so that that that's what Melanin people is all about. So you can find you can do videos, pictures, um, just like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, but they integral part of it is that you know um uh, we want us to be able to find ourselves in that right. space um instead of going to other websites or platform um for example i used to go to fiverr a lot uh -huh. but now i found some guys in in lagos that make awesome videos wow. on, the, on melanin people wow. so now I don't, I don't go to fiverr anymore i just wow. i just send the money to those guys and then they get wow. the job done so and it's faster it's made it's also cheaper mm -hmm. right and these guys deliver quality they so, deliver yeah quality. so that that's that's the whole essence of the platform for example yeah. if i want to buy a new uh mercedes benz or if i want to mm -hmm. buy a new home mm -hmm. i i want to be able to go on melanin people and you know find a realtor hmm. or find a sales a salesman is a car salesman right on that platform because this is what i want to make sure that the forty thousand dollars that I'm spending, the ten percent, you know, commission goes to a black family. Hmm. You know, if I want to do, you know, buy a home right now right. in Atlanta, you know, I don't want to go on Google to start looking for a rental or hmm. to start looking around on right. maybe Facebook right. or Instagram or things like that. Because then, when we use those platform, the algorithm gives us, you know, people that really don't really look like us i'm not huh. saying it's a bad thing to spend money with those people right but you and i know that you know we don't have the same mm. financial capacity especially right. in our community like you know other 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 cultures so wow. it's that's the reason why we created this space so mm -hmm. that you know we can we can spend more mm. intentionally you know with one another mm. so that the money stays longer at least mm -hmm. right now um research shows that the black money stays less than two weeks in the black community before huh. it flies out <laughs> to another to other wow. hands so so where I, did you get that st statistics for it uh, you can find that statistics on on pew research p pew research yeah p e w research it's huh. a it's a statistical 
um, domain on, uh -huh. the, on, on the internet. You can uh -huh. find a lot of research on there. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, that's that's what motivated me uh -huh. to do this. Uh -huh. Especially now, for example, I just did, um, we're, we're designing a new functionality in the app, uh -huh. which is going to be like uh, an in-app audio conversation, like nice. green room, um, clubhouse, clubhouse yeah. right. We're designing that right now. That's awesome. And I hired a guy from Bangladesh, Pakistan. Hmm. I thought it was going to be cheap. But last week when he sent me the bill, I converted it to Nigerian currency. Hmm. You know, I'm Nigerian, you know, I'm Nigerian American. Uh -huh. So so I think Nigeria, um, it was a lot. Wow, from Bangladesh. Yeah, it was a lot of money that I'm paying okay. to this guy. If I convert that money to Naira, it's going to be like maybe two and O almost two fifty thousand naira, three hundred thousand naira. Wow! So imagine if that money goes to a young guy in in in, in a university in Nigeria or college, mm. or maybe a young graduate, or even a guy that's a, a woman that has been looking for a job a for job, a while, and, right. and that money just lands just because it did a simple, not uh -huh. simple, but I mean you're paying right. for their skill. Uh -huh. But that's good money. That's that's a lot. Right. You already know that's a lot because of some people earn like fifteen thousand in a month in Nigeria. I don't even know how they survive. <laughs> Let's not even go there. Yeah. But I'm I'm loving I'm loving what you're doing. So for for those of you who are still trying to understand what melanin people is, pretty much this genius, I like to call him a genius, he's my friend and I joke with him a lot and I say my big <laughs> CEO friend. You know, this genius is creating or has created an app. You know that is called melanin people i know i remember when you started this project about three years ago three no, four it's, years it's, ago it's, uh, september 17 2018. right because yeah. i remember we were talking about september it you were sharing the dream with me yeah. that's when he created it started out first as a website yeah, and we, we started as a, a as a magazine as a magazine yeah, as a news magazine, as a news magazine. Yeah. and what i love about what he's doing is he started it to promote people of color. Mm -hmm. That was the goal. The goal is to promote entrepreneurs, people who are doing businesses, you know. And you know what our slogan is? Our slogan, if you go to the website, right. is connecting people of color. That's beautiful. That's the slogan. Connect. Connecting so, so people of color. Some people think it's dating or relationship. Right. Well, it's relationship anyways, but it it's is, not yeah. dating. Yeah. This is about the black social economics. Hmm. Huh because we need to intentionally more intentionally support one another i'm telling you, you. you know that we have um a, a small company a logistics company yeah you told we, me about it we do have that mm -hmm. and think about this we have like some fleet of, of vans mm -hmm. almost 40 50 mm -hmm. you know, and we need mobile mechanics mm -hmm. think about it we need mobile mechanics mm -hmm. we need um people that can wash and clean uh -huh, the inside uh -huh, of the vans that's uh -huh, a lot right uh -huh. and if i go on google right now and i'm trying to look for one it's gonna give it's not gonna give me a black owned business hmm. because even there one, even though there are i'm sure a couple of black owned businesses who do stuff like but, that but the issue right there is we can't afford to do seo black yeah. businesses can't afford it so seo i want you to speak He's which a tech is, guy. Which, which is <laughs> the, the search, search engine optimization. If you're search a, a, engine optimization, a, a, a small business, mm -hmm. a black owned business, we, we don't have the capacity. Right. Those that like is expensive. Money on it is. Search engine optimization. That's true. Sometimes even websites uh -huh. put together, uh -huh. you know, in a really fast fashion just uh -huh. for you to have something out uh -huh. there. But if you go on Google and you start looking for companies, right? It won't pop up. Yeah. First page you can find it. Second, second page. page. And the thing is, at a point in time, you just pick one of it. Nobody has time to yeah, keep reading, reading, reading. You just pick reading, one reading, of reading, it, and then you just call through. them. They pick up the phone. They come and do the job, and they take the money. Right. But, which is hmm. still some of the things that we're doing. Hmm. You know, and we're still, we're not still doing hundred percent black. Black, so right? Still, I'm not. We can't. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Of course. You know, I mean, if you if you can't find them, how do you use them? I guess. <laughs> you, you, but, you understand what but, I'm but saying? But what I'm saying is, if imagine if we're like one million users on the app. On melanin Defini people, yes. On melanin people. Definitely, right. you know, that once you go there and say, um, um, mobile car wash, mm -hmm. Atlanta, Georgia, mm -hmm. 
it's going to bring and you know that the right. prob the probability I'm not even a prob the probability is going to be like 98 90, 98% that it's going to be a black owned company hmm. right yeah there was a time we we're looking for someone to fix something in our house right hmm. we our AC wasn't working the air conditioning hmm. wasn't working um, and the whole house was getting hot so I went on Google my intention was to you know hire a black on business mm. and it was too hot in the house so the first day we couldn't find second day we couldn't find man on the third day i had to just pick one i bet it was a spanish person you know I, it was a caucasian company caucasian okay but the guy that's the sent over to fix it was a black guy wow and so i asked the guy i said so why don't you start your own company so he said he's been working on in, in that as a technician for 25 years 25 so years. the man knew exactly everything that we needed to buy you know the warranty hmm. everything it was so knowledgeable he even helped us to save money but at the end of the day we still paid like three thousand five hundred dollars and he probably got what maybe I don't know hundred dollar a day yeah, he's gonna get paid for the hour that mm, worked maybe so. Twenty dollar an hour tops or something like that. But now that's where the balance comes for the black economics, for the financials, because now we spend money. Mm -hmm. We do spend money. Yeah, over, and we're big over spenders. Three trillion dollars. We, we are big spenders. So, so the our skin color, we like to spend money. So that's <laughs> that's where I come. It's not it's not gonna stop us from still buying Jaguar. Of course you know, not. It's not gonna still stop us from buying the mansion. Right. You know, just but. The thing is, when you're buying that mansion, you're making sure that the salesman or the saleswoman or the realtor, mm -hmm. it's kind of, it should be, you know, you understand what I mean? I understand. That is, that's and it's not, the, I'm, I'm just, just to create some balance because I don't want people out there to think, oh, okay, you're trying to, um, what's the word, trying to, uh, you know, be play preferential treatment mm -hmm. to only the mm -hmm. people of color. No. Me and, um, Mr. Yinka have talked a lot and you know just right now before we started this interview we were talking about uh, a particular company that makes ketchup mm -hmm. and I was telling him I'm like randomly I'm like is it that there's no other company that makes ketchup apart from this company if you go to every single store every fast food chain mm -hmm. like literally everywhere you see no other brand I'm sure most of you know what the brand is you see no other brand that makes ketchup apart from this company mm -hmm. and he was like well because they f you know we we're talking about it and oh, and i was also like somehow these and um, people have found a way to create generational wealth mm -hmm. but we haven't done that because we don't have a community the reason why most of them can create generational wealth is because they have a community most of them when they wanted to start right they have people who helped them who put money together yes. and they said oh this is what you want to do we're going to give you money we're going to support you but we don't have that and that's one of the things i love about this app because this app is creating a community Definitely. for black people support of people of color begins with support by people of color introducing Melanin People. Melanin People is a new innovative new social media platform for people of color from all around the world. It's a place for us to interact, showcase our talents, express our passions, share our cultures, and do business, both locally and internationally. Download the Melanin People mobile app now. Connecting people Where, of color. You know, if you want to, if you want to get a, like you said, a technician, like I remember the other day I needed to um, fix my car seat. Because um, one of the, the leather on my car seat got ripped. And I just went on Facebook. And I was like, leather car fix tech or something like that. And it popped up, you know, a number of people. And the people it popped up, like he said, I couldn't really find any, like, black owned. Because sometimes they just want to, you know, you, you, it's like. It's it's not a donation because they're gonna come and work for right. For, 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 they're actually gonna come and do work. Right. But I mean, think about it. If you're spending one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, ten thousand, fifteen thousand, mm. that's a lot of money. Right. Keep it. You know. The help. At the people. end of the day, we're still gonna go to Kroger 
you know, of course, we're still gonna go to Burger Walmart. King. We're gonna go to we're Walmart. Gonna go to Walmart. We're gonna go to Amazon you know. <laughs> buy stuff <laughs> because yeah. we're not as big as right. You know, it, that's the reality. Mm -hmm. But for now, the thing is, at least we want to be able to equip that black woman with a single black woman somewhere, with mm, a single black so, man somewhere. That's so thoughtful. You know, we want to be able to equip them to have at least have that money mm -hmm. and decide whatever they want to go spend the money. And you know, now that you're talking. I feel like the reason, like what you said, the reason why um, we cannot find a lot of black people when we need services like that or there's no community is because maybe we also, we, there was no platform for that. And that's the, the good thing about this app you're creating. Mm -hmm. So I know he said it earlier, but I'm going to say it again for some of you that didn't catch it. He actually created an app that is somewhat running almost like instagram snapchat yeah, it's, it's running like it's it's, it's we, almost like we don't that. have all the functionalities yeah. right now mm -hmm. but you know but that's we're getting it's, there it's, we're gonna have it we're right. gonna get it so I, I tell you what let me even tell you something you don't know because most people haven't been using the app mm -hmm. we also find a way to we we all also found a way we said okay we asked several questions and say mm -hmm. Do we do we get any kind of compensation mm. as users? I'm not talking about as end users. I, I'm right. not I'm not talking about um, creators. No, right not now. content creators. Just regular users. Just regular users. Like, what do I get from using Facebook 2021, uh, 2020, 2019? Hmm. Uh, not even a. Sticker. And you stay there for I mean, hours. I mean, they give us memories sometimes. You know. Yeah, they give us memories. They, they, they put some pictures <laughs> together. And, you I know, say so, memories you know, from yeah. When you know, Vivanti, and they help us connect with our yeah, loved ones. Yeah, so. and Yinka, we can see how many times we took pictures together. Mm -hmm. You know, well, fine, which is cool. I'm not saying it's not as bad, but do I really get it? Because I see it this way. Right now, I work for WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. I'm, it's real. I'm, I'm telling you what I'm, I'm a, I work in WhatsApp. Why? Because I use WhatsApp every day. Hmm. I work in Facebook. I've already used Facebook today. For hmm. At least for an hour. Actually, for now that 40, you say 40 minutes. I, I work for YouTube because I've finished this video now. I'm putting it on YouTube. You work for I'm Google. a content creator you, for YouTube. You work for Google. So, I mean. Can you believe that? YouTube, I never thought about it that you, way. YouTube and Google are still not because they pay. They, they do pay. some compensation somehow. Yeah, but they, haven't, they, haven't, they haven't sent me a check. Don't because worry. You guys need to subscribe. Don't worry. So they can send me a check. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, send you, they'll send you one once you hear the Mac. But for us in the app, you don't have to sweat it. Hmm. If you like a content, you get paid in tokens. We call it the melanin people tokens. That's nice. It's an in-app token. If you like, if you share, if you upload pictures, videos, you if you do an external sharing, uh -huh. you earn tokens every single way. And the question is, what am I going to use a token for? Mm. Right. We're going to create something we call the reward, um, the reward ecosystem mm. inside the app. And with that, You'll be able to exchange your token with some of the products and services inside the reward system. That's good. That's also to encourage us to buy from one another because we we're, we're always skeptical. Right. Like if I make this shoe right now and I put it somewhere, we are skeptical. And I say, I'm please, uh, this is my shoe. Everybody's gonna be like, "What's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> this guy is a joker, man." <laughs> 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 I'm not buying that shoe, you know. But what what the reward place is gonna be um, help us to do is to encourage people to buy my shoe because mm. then I can put this shoe inside the reward ecosystem mm. and tell you guys that for a hundred melanin people talking, I'm mm. gonna send you this shoe for free. Wow! All right. So then, if you have enough points, mm. you can exchange your token, send your token to me. Mm -hmm. inside the app and then I'm gonna send you this shoe this your size and mm -hmm. everything I'm gonna send it to your house almost like cryptocurrency yeah but it's not it's not crypto it's not crypto but I'm just saying because it's not on the blockchain yeah it's not on the blockchain yeah. yeah but then the token that I receive I'll be able to run free hearts mm. inside the app because I have that's the token. Good. That's good. Right? So what's going to happen so is... So it's, it's a win-win because if I'm a content creator and I create a video that goes viral mm -hmm. and I get a lot of likes and shares and comments, I'm getting a lot of token. 
Yeah, you, you're I'm, earning tokens. I'm earning that's, tokens, yeah. and even those who are those liking my are stuff, liking it, I, they're earning tokens. Now, that's if you now nice. have like a five hundred thousand followers, uh -huh. and I'm a small business, I can't really uh -huh. pay. Which is the situation we find ourselves right now. Uh -huh. That we can't really pay you one thousand dollars or whatever dollars uh -huh. you're asking for. You can say, all right, for this week, I'm gonna you guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna do um an advert, and you guys can if you have uh, one fifty. Melanin uh -huh. people tokens you can send it over wow. and I'm gonna post your content on my page. Wow. That's right? good. So but the goal of that um, is for us in the future, which is not gonna be so long, maybe two years, Amen. Uh, maybe next year. Amen. Um, we'll create the same token on the blockchain. And you now guys can talking. swap. Now you're talking. You know, then you guys will be able to swap the token. Um, on the blockchain and actually swap it to maybe Ethereum, Solana, whatever, you know. Say that one more time. You see what what the theory? What is that? Ethereum. <laughs> Ethereum. <laughs> Ethereum. You know why I'm laughing? Bitcoin. So okay, let me before, say Bitcoin. Before Everybody knows I, you all know Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin. Before Ethereum, Solana. before Bitcoin became a thing, <laughs> this man told me about Bitcoin, but I didn't listen. He was telling me that time. Say, Avanti, buy Bitcoin. Yeah. I say, what is this Bitcoin business? You bought, you bought some Bitcoin. I didn't buy. Oh, well, I you know, he, I didn't buy. I thought you bought some <laughs> he was telling me buy Bitcoin. That was 2016. Wow. Yeah, like 2016, 2017. Then Bitcoin was... hadn't blown up. Mm -hmm. He was telling me, I want to buy Bitcoin. I say, I beg, anything I cannot touch. I don't like it. As an Igbo girl that well, I am, right we now, like cash. Right now, we're doing Metaverse. We're doing NFTs, yeah. non-fungible tokens, Metaverse. And okay. let, me, let me tell you something. I found a guy. <laughs> I'm so I, sorry. This is an I, interview. I found a guy on Clubhouse, mm. a Nigerian guy in Lagos. The guy is 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 so good on in 3D, 3D design, animation. I was in a room. Um, it's called a room on there. Slum Gods NFT, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that Slum Gods is, was made by a Nigerian guy. The guy's in Chicago. And I was asking the guy why why slum god? And the guy said, Well, he came from a very from poor slums. poor background and mm -hmm. and you know, they were really poor but now he's in the United States, he's doing well, he's into tech and he was thinking about what um kind of non fungible token can he create hmm. to tell his story. And the and and he wanted to create uh, a token that will tell stories of um thousands several thousands of people mm -hmm. that we can easily relate to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that's how we created the nft the slum gods nft so you guys can go check it out that's an advert for the guy free one wow. all right so in that room i found this other guy and he said oh this guy can do this and i checked it out the guy was great so now because instead of me going that's also an advantage of going into a community-based environment yeah that's what i was right? saying because the only reason why you could f even find these people easily was because you are already like in the IT field, so it was easy for you to like know what you're looking for, mm -hmm. and because you already have the mindset of I want to help my people. Yeah. First, yeah. because I, we can act, act easily. I can easily find someone. Of course, there are um, lots of Indians yeah, that, that we do so, that. And they are so good. And they're good. Super good. So, Bangladesh, but because you Pakistan, wanted to, you know, to to help somebody, you know, of your skin color, you were you went in there looking for something like that, and you found it. Yes. But now, melanin people, you don't have to be looking. They, they are right there. That's the that's 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 our that's own the goal. selling point. That's, that's the good. that's the point that's good. that I want our people to understand. That's so good. It's not it's not going to stop you from using Instagram. Right. I, I still go on Instagram, and enjoy of course, everything of course. that's there. I go on Facebook, on TikTok. Sometimes I check on yeah. my computer. Um, you know, it's not going to stop. And us it's from a using good it. place for black-owned business to be seen. Yeah, we have a marketplace. Oh, you have a. I was going to ask you that you have a marketplace already yeah, on the app. We have a marketplace in the app. Wow. We also have the a business directory. Wow. So if you have a business, you can go in the app and create your business. We why have a why have you not put my business on there? What's going on? You, you have to put it yourself. Oh. You know, you have to sign up, create a business account, and and then you have to link. Uh, we also create uh, designed it in such a way that you can use it for um, sales channels, right? 
You wow. Can, you can link back your website, link back your Twitter, Are Instagram. You so we're not against you using Instagram. Wow. Because we actually created an icon for Instagram, everything on there. Wow. Okay. So you it's, can it's link a, it's it. It's about, you know, we want, we want many people to see you on the web as much as possible. And see you if, easily if you and have quicker. A product, right now, we don't have our own... Um, um, payment system integrated, uh -huh. which is intentional. Uh -huh. We want people to buy it on your website. Uh -huh. So if you have a product, if you have a t-shirt, if you have whatever, you post it in the marketplace, you put a price. If you're doing sales, we have a functionality there that shows them you're doing sales. And when people click on it on the button, on the buy button, it sends them to your website. On your wow. website, then they can see a lot of varieties. So oh. it's like a sales channel also, huh. especially for business owners. If you have a home you're selling, if you're a realtor, mm -hmm. you can go on there, link it back to whatever sales page you use for your um, realtor business. Mm -hmm. right? On the on the business page, if you're a business owner, if you, I mean, if you, if you're an individual, you can still use our app. Um, you know, to do whatever you want to do, daily, day-to-day uh -huh. -day activities, uh -huh. and blogging and vlogging, you can do that vlogging. Um, and for the business there's a section on the business page with a um with an icon i which stands for information once you click on the icon there we can see the name of the ceo avanti Uza. we can like also that. see um check out avanti user's profile once we click on it it's gonna send us to the avanti user's linkedin profile hmm. okay so as a ceo professional because right now we don't have a LinkedIn black LinkedIn that's like uh -huh, black people so uh -huh. we all use LinkedIn which uh -huh. is great so but we want to be able to verify you so if you have a LinkedIn profile if I click on it it should send me to your LinkedIn profile so uh -huh. I can see your face and you your professional attire uh -huh. you know and I'm gonna certify this is black owned, right uh -huh. then you can put your time opening hours closing hours everything is in there your phone number your email There's so Every, much everything is already in the app so we just need to create a community around this mm. and I tell you what this is gonna change the face of black economics it will it this will. is gonna change because the face that, of black economics. like like you said something right now that if you work if you created this shoe a lot of people will be skeptical about buying yeah, from you. you know people make nice t-shirts nice mm. things right now you know but we, we we don't some some of them we don't even know mm -hmm. i don't know there's so many possibilities i know somebody watching me is like okay avanti you is know this you know i've interviewed someone on the melanin people magazine mm -hmm. i think last year mm -hmm. it's still on the melanin people magazine this mm -hmm. guy makes shoes in nigeria hmm. i mean super shoes they were how did i meet this guy also on clubhouse mm -hmm. right I met this African American man mm -hmm. that's in North Carolina, and he said, "Oh, I what know kind what of shoes does he make? Like sneakers, like, or, or real like shoes, real like shoes, shoes, real you, shoes okay. the shoes you wear to like parties, dress shoes. dress shoes, you know, those are the ones that make really solid one." Mm -hmm. And this African American guy in North Carolina was actually um, working on an investment plan for him. Because wow. the guy is quite rich, he's a black American, mm -hmm. really uh, with high profile, mm -hmm. and we're trying to create a, a warehouse for him in North Carolina, wow. where the guy can start producing the shoes and they can start working with big companies um, like Macy's and wow. all that. That's how I knew the guy. You know, I couldn't believe that shoe was made by Ni the guy is a Nigeria, Nigeria in Nigeria. You know, and so the guy was looking for investors, and that's why they approached me and said, "Oh." Can I check out this guy? This is what he's doing. You know, if you want to invest, we can do this together. But think about it. That shoe, nobody will want to buy it. But if now, if they put it in Macy's, no People one's gonna. Will. Everybody will now rush in. But that's why we need hmm. to come together and do this as a community, because okay. this kind of shoe should be something that we all should be buying. You know. And who knows how many people, how many jobs will be created because mm -hmm. of that guy? I mean, if you give, if you give more black CEOs opportunity to create more, they can, in turn, hire more people. Mm -hmm. You know, because like an average black guy on the street, maybe that's had a rough start, will not get a chance in a white collar, regular white collar environment. But if his homeboy or his homegirl, that is 
friends with maybe C, uh, black CEO, mm -hmm. they will give him an opportunity. They won't hold on to his past or you know the mistakes he's made. So that's why community is important. And then it it's, it's also good because now you see some people might have had one bad experience in terms of let, maybe say of somebody offering them a kind of service one bad experience from one black person and because of that one bad experience they think every black person is like that mm -hmm. but no this is going to totally change the mind we actually and the face nice points of, you're making right yeah. now. We, we actually have a review section good you know That's we have good. a review section in the app good for businesses for businesses that's so good if i see you because i really know you as a vanti mm -hmm. and i say that you bought like a pause or an mm -hmm. bag from someone mm -hmm. or maybe you were having an event mm -hmm. and you know the person did your makeup my, my makeup or you know, you know and i saw your review on it i can actually send you a message and say avanti did you really you know right and you can say yeah 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 she did check this picture. that check is this so phone. good I, she actually did this i introduced her to this person if you think that is if you so want to be sure i've also introduced these these wow. and these and you can ask these guys about this person so it's good it's 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 an awesome you know and it's also a way of connecting created. connecting people and, and we're also going to learn about other people's culture right we wanna, you we want to because there's a lot of african americans in Ghana, and in kenya in accra in south africa johannesburg botswana malawians mm. you know we this don't is, we don't really know major. about the african culture we mm. don't know about the history and think about it even on clubhouse people fight i'm sure you've seen it before african americans mm. and serious? africans you know they do have they do have clashes, clashes. They clash a lot on these apps now what our app is gonna do it's gonna, is gonna help us to unify and understand by learning yeah the culture by learning the history mm. you know because most people in africa they don't understand the struggles of the of the you know ordinary african-american woman hmm. they don't understand the struggles of the of the african uh, male african woman in nigeria hmm. african man in nigeria you know and and this is gonna help us a lot to understand ourselves better especially with the in-app conversations that you know future that we're gonna put in the app mm. that's gonna change the trajectory and we also want to do that because right now that's the world is that's what everybody uh -huh. is doing right now uh -huh. you know Twitter spaces, green room, clubhouse. There's a lot of. I haven't there. even heard about green room. There's so so yeah. many of them. Green room is it. owned by Spotify. Spotify uh. bought green room. Okay, and it's it works exactly like wow. clubhouse and Twitter spaces. Twitter as Facebook also has. This Facebook the, the, is owned what is, the right now. What is exciting me? Like I said to you right now, there's so many apps out there, mm -hmm. like too many. You can't even keep up. So I like um the uniqueness of what you're bringing i mean i know if i want to go to an app that has everybody you know and i can find it don't get it twisted we're not saying that people of other races and cultures can come on melanin people. yeah they can come they I can mean, it's it, it's going to be an opportunity to actually learn learn because exactly what, what, they will come I, in and understand one of the things that i envisage is that we can have a, a place in the app that's going to be like for history hmm I don't know if that's gonna happen. It's just a vision, mm. and I believe God can make it happen. Yeah, it's gonna have like a section called history, mm. and in that section we can read about the Nigerian Civil War. Wow. We can read about the genocide, you know, mm -hmm. that has happened in different parts of Africa. Wow. We can read about the things that have happened in Libya. We can have moderators moderating these pages. Wow, you know, and they can that's also good. hand maybe the tokens while right. they do that. You know, that's they can good. end some of something. For doing the work that's very you know, good and so that we can go into the spaces and learn more about um the reverend um dr martin luther king mm. learn about um, um barack obama learn about, learn about nelson mandela nelson mandela you know, you know learn maya about what's the, the maya what's the lady's name maya, maya angelo you know learn about you know the the independence the mm. colonialism you know and then mm. learn about the african-american culture mm. learn about the story 
of slavery. Hi, thank you for watching. Today's episode will be continued next week. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you again. Bye for now.